So the water's so cold. <laughs> Sarah Webb is enjoying a day off at the waterfront, but she's not here to relax or soak up the sun. Webb is a volunteer, a citizen scientist, if you will, who helps out the folks at Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary, a marine protected area located off the Georgia coast. Today, she's continuing a long-term project to monitor the presence of microscopic organisms called phytoplankton that live in the water. And then we take that back to the lab. It's really amazing what we collect, what you see in just one drop of water. The phytoplankton are kind of like the canary in the coal mine. If they have numbers that are different than what they should be, either too much or too little, they can mean just bad things for, for the water quality as well as for the, the fish and the other organisms in the water. Webb and Gray's Reef volunteer coordinator Jody Patterson then take the collected sample to the lab at the University of Georgia's Marine Extension Service on Skidaway Island, where they give the water a closer look under a microscope. One of the species we look for is um, Ketoceros, which is this guy right here. Um, he's not toxic, but too many of them can clog fish kills and, and cause uh, fish kills and and all of that, so um, he's not one of the toxic ones, but he is, has a potential to be dangerous. Other volunteers from the University of Georgia's Marine Extension Service are here as well, all taking part in a collaborative phytoplankton monitoring program which is funded by NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. All right, that's last week's sample. Okay. Dr. Mary Ellen Timmons from the Marine Extension Service coordinates the work. And they put in, well, just the phytoplankton monitors last year put in almost 1,000 hours. And we have about seven different programs. So you can imagine how many hours that accumulates to at the end of a year. They're letting us do double, triple what we could do on our own. There's nothing troubling in this week's sample, but tracking the data over time is what counts. And it's all possible because of volunteers who are willing to take their time to help out. Reporting from Skidaway Island, I'm Michael Jordan for NOAA Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary.